Hello, hello, I'm Sarah from Inkno and welcome to the Class Point channel. After you hit that subscribe button, let's get started in finding the best digital whiteboard tool for you. The whiteboarding tools that we're gonna to cover today have a lot of features. So we're not gonna go through every single one in depth, especially because some of those basic features you're gonna see similar throughout all five whiteboarding tools. Instead, we're just gonna be focusing on the features that make that tool unique to itself. So our first tool is going to be for those looking to collaborate with their students. So for a collaboration, you guys should be using Microsoft Whiteboard. To view and participate and collaborate on that board, you do need to have a Microsoft account, which is great for teachers at a Microsoft school or if you're using Teams for online teaching because Teams does have Microsoft Whiteboard implemented inside. So the Teams version and the online web version that you guys see here does have limited capabilities, so you can always download the app and get full range of all of their features. So some of the highlights for me on the toolbar is the Galaxy Pen. I just think it's really fun. Who doesn't love a little bit of color in their writing? Along with the Active Stylus. So as you can see, a thicker or thinner line does appear depending on your writing style, which I think is really fun. Other things that Microsoft Whiteboard has is they do have ink to shape, so you can just move your endless canvas and I can create a square, which turns this into a shape. I can even create it into a table by adding more columns and rows as well. Further on the toolbar, you just have some of the more basic features, ruler, highlighter, lasso, you can any add text, notes, or images, or you can even add a template or a Word or PowerPoint document as well. Up at the top here, you do have a settings menu along with being able to add your students. So let's get into that collaboration part that I think this tool is best known for. So you can either do a shareable web link or if you are hooked up to your school account, you can just invite your whole class through here as well. So once your students are into your whiteboard, you're gonna be able to see their names or their image appear while they're contributing to the whiteboard which is why Microsoft Whiteboard is so unique because not all whiteboarding tools have this feature. Some tools have just people writing and you have no idea who's contributing. So this feature of Microsoft Whiteboard is wonderful. Just a quick note on the cost of Microsoft Whiteboard is that it is free. However, it will be a little bit better if you are subscribed to Microsoft 365. For those of you focusing on brainstorming with your students, I recommend using Miro. So Miro is an online digital whiteboarding tool, or they have apps for all of your different devices that you can use as well, which makes it super convenient. And they're best known for brainstorming because of all their pre-saved templates that they have. So as you can see, there's some here. You can always start with a blank board if you want and add a template later. But let's go ahead and look at their library right away. We can filter it and you can view their extensive list of different templates. So click on it, it will give you a little bit more information and then you can just insert it into a page on your application. So let's go ahead right away and check out some of these settings here at the top. So one thing that we can do is we can change that background grid to something that you prefer better if you want. And let's go ahead and add some of our students right away. So once we click that share button, pretty simple, you can add them via email or just share the link too. And once your students are joined in, their names will appear up here at the top. And you can see that students can send reactions along with you as the teacher too. And if you do click on a student, you'll be able to follow them around the board. So the endless whiteboard is a bit expansive. So sometimes students may go off, write something somewhere else. So this gives you the ability to follow them around the board. The endless whiteboard is also really nice because if you need to add more space to add another template, you can always go ahead and do that. Or you can just do your text, sticky notes, shapes, lines, highlighter pen, ink to shape, etc. on this side toolbar here. One other thing that I really like about Miro is the comments. So you can just click on that comment, go to anywhere on the board and click a part that you want to leave a comment on. So you can always tag a student if you want them to see that comment specifically, or you can leave it for everyone to see, which is really nice. Further down on this toolbar, you do have all of your options to embed anything into your whiteboard. 
Below that is a, another menu that has a couple more of the pro options. So there's some presentation options along with some voting or video chatting so that you can get more in touch with your students. So that is all on the pro version. So if you do want to upgrade to pro, you can go ahead and do that. It will also give you a little bit more privacy and give you access to more boards. So with the free version, you do only have access to three Miro whiteboards. And once you invite students to one board, they'll be able to view your other two. So to make it more private, go ahead and upgrade to pro. So like I mentioned, Miro, great for brainstorming, mainly because of all their different templates and that ability to add comments to any part of the whiteboard. If you're looking to record a whiteboarding session, then a crowd favorite is Explain Everything. Similar to Miro, Explain Everything has both an online and an application version, and you don't even have to sign in to use it, which is very nice. However, if you want to invite your students or save your work, which is also convenient, you will have to make an account. So before we get into those recording features, let's do a quick rundown of that side toolbar. So on the toolbar, first up is your typical insert and embedding features. Why don't we go ahead and insert a piece of clip art here. And after that, you have your pen and highlighter tools and your eraser. So your eraser, usually, you know, you cannot erase any part of an image, which is typical. However, with explain everything, you can change that eraser setting so that you can erase part of an image if you want. So that's really nice. You can take bits and pieces, put things together, which is great. Some other features, you have your shapes, your text, and you also have a laser. So this comes in handy when you're gonna be recording if you want to highlight any part of what you've annotated so far. Along with some of those other settings, you do have some aspect ratio, arranging and edit, and locking features. So the locking is really nice if you wanna lock any piece right onto your background. So let's go ahead and get into that recording of the whiteboard. So it's easy to find right down here in the middle, and this can be used for a whole lesson if you want, or just a quick response to a student who has a question. And we all know sometimes it's a little bit easier to speak it than to type it. So all you need to do is decide if you want the microphone on or off, and then you guys can click the record button and it will start that recording right away. So you can go ahead and choose your pen and begin annotating right on the screen and explaining what it is that you're writing in the process. Once everything is done, you can just hit the stop button and you'll see that an editor pops up. So from start to finish, everything that you want to record and send out to your students can be done and explain everything, which is so convenient. So the editor does look a little bit confusing. If you think that, I also thought that same thing as well, um, but it's pretty easy to get the hang of it. So you guys can delete any parts, split it, edit, crop, cut, all of that can be done right inside of this editor. So if it's a little bit confusing, the question mark here does pull up a website that has exactly how to do everything in this. So it's pretty easy to read through and you can watch a video about how to edit those videos. And that is explain everything. So a quick note on the free version is that you're only able to share one minute of a recording with your students. So if you do want more than that, you can upgrade to pro. And unlike Microsoft Whiteboard and Miro, explain everything is only limited to a one page whiteboard. So it's not an endless canvas. And with the free version, you're just limited to one page on that whiteboard. So if you want more pages, you can go ahead and upgrade to pro as well. If you're looking for an all-encompassing, so many features, all-in-one application whiteboarding tool, then whiteboard.chat is the tool for you. You guys, it's unbelievable how many features that this tool has. So if you wanna use it, you gotta be super committed because the learning curve is major. So to use this app, you guys can just go online and click the start drawing button. You will have the option to start teaching or start collaborating. Start Collaborating is just like all the other whiteboards tools that we've used, where you and your students can collaborate on one whiteboard. 
if you choose to start teaching, that's when the teacher has their own whiteboard and students all have their own separate whiteboards as well. The teacher can view all the students' whiteboards, but students cannot view each other's. So this is a really fun way to use whiteboard, just like if you were in class, students were writing and holding it up to, for you to see. So let's go through a teaching board here. And you guys will see on the left-hand side here is the main toolbar. So nothing super new that we haven't seen in the previous whiteboarding tools. They just have more options um, here for the uploading and the tools that you can use. What really makes whiteboard.chat special is what's on the right-hand side. So these three buttons here will open up the action menu and we're gonna go ahead and open up a demo student page. So this is nice. You guys can also participate as a student or just be able to see and understand what your students are seeing. So now that we have this pulled up, let's just go ahead and write a quick message to our teacher. And then we can go back to our teacher side. Also in this action menu, you guys can open class boards. So this is where you're gonna be able to view your students' boards. So once you click on the student you wanna see, you'll be able to see their board. You can leave any comments or feedback here as well if you need. To go back to your own board, just click on your name and then you can go back. One great way to interact with your students is to send them a poll. So in that action menu, you can just click on the new poll here and you can click on the students that you want to send to. So we'll send it to that demo student, which is my name, Sarah, and let's send a poll here and we can input one. So here I have already have one. You have to do a question mark and then the answers after that, and let's send it on over. So you'll see that on the teacher side, I can see who I sent it to. If I open up that demo student page, I get the poll popped up right here. So I can click yes, go back to the teacher side, and it'll show that Sarah has done and that is her answer, she clicked yes. In addition to those action item menus, we also have the gizmos and the widgets, which is a super unique part of whiteboard.chat as well. So the gizmos have so many different manipulatives and categories that you guys can choose from. It is super incredible how many things that they have that you can insert right onto your page. The widgets are also great to put onto your page and play around with as well. So let's just insert this spinner quick and we can go ahead and just click spin and it will go ahead, spin and choose something. So you can use that with your student names or a different topic or subject as well. So whiteboard.chat is free, like I said before, and you also don't have to make an account, but making the account will help save your work and you can save it as a PDF, share it with your students. And the free version is fine, but if you want more storage to save things, then you guys will have to upgrade to Pro. So this whiteboard tool has so many different features. This is just the tip of the iceberg. You guys can check out more and look at other tutorial videos. If you want us to make one on this, we definitely can do that. Just make sure that you're super committed and be able to take full advantage of this tool because it's excellent. For those needing a quick way to add more information when they're in the middle of a PowerPoint presentation, then ClassPoint is a whiteboarding tool for you. So ClassPoint is actually an interactive teaching add-in for PowerPoint to ask your students some interactive questions. However, today we're just gonna be focusing on the whiteboarding portion of that add-in. So if you have it downloaded and installed, you will see an Econo class point tab in that top PowerPoint ribbon and a whiteboard backgrounds button. So this button will show you the six presets that are there as a template for you during your presentation. So you can set any of them as a whiteboard, a blackboard, or a ruled paper, or you can choose any image or set any slide to be your background. So let's just leave these six for now and get into our presentation mode to show you guys what this is all about. So if we start our presentation, you guys will notice that there's a toolbar here at the bottom and we have a question pulled up here that let's say we want to add some more information to. There's not a lot of space on this slide so we can add a blank whiteboard slide. So to do that, we just click on the whiteboard background page here and let's add in a timeline. So on the bottom, you have your basic whiteboard tools. We have our pens so that we can begin writing right on our PowerPoint slide. 
and we also have a highlighter if you need it and an eraser. So all those pen colors can be changed if needed. And to have our students follow along with us, they can follow along while you're projecting your PowerPoint presentation or sharing your screen while you're online teaching. But if you want them to better interact with you, then they can join by the class code up here in the corner, scanning the QR code or going to classpoint.app. Once you have some students joined in, you can then use quick poll and ask them a quick question or use pick a name. You can choose any one of these cards to reveal a student's name and they can maybe add something to the timeline. If you're interested in finding out more information about these question types and the other class point question types to better interact with your student during a PowerPoint presentation, we have some more information down in the description below. ClassPoint is a free tool for all teachers to use for up to 25 students. So if you're looking for more students and more questions to use, then you guys can upgrade to the pro version. Thank you guys so much for following along with these five different whiteboard tools. I know it was a lot of information. If there's any of the tools that you guys want to see more in depth, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.